I'm now going to give a brief overview of the Laureate's work. In five minutes, I can only give a glimpse of their immense contributions to mathematics. I will aim to show some of the themes of their work and also give a sense of their wider legacy. We start with a street lamp. Imagine a drunkard sleeping at the base of this lamppost. He wakes up, takes a step in an arbitrary direction, collapses to the ground, wakes up again, takes a step in an arbitrary direction, collapses again, and repeats this ad infinitum. In mathematical language, the path traveled by our drunken friend is a random walk, a sequence of steps where each step is in a random direction. Random walks are a well-known concept that is used to model many phenomena, such as in economics, the variations in the price of stock, or in physics, the behavior of molecules of gas. In fact, this image, which looks like a gas propagating, is four random walks starting from the same place after about 10,000 steps. What's the sort of question that a mathematician might want to ask about a random walk? Well, what are the chances that the drunkard is going to bump his head on the lamppost? In other words, that his path will return to the point of origin. The chances are 100%. Now, let's say the path is in three dimensions. We have a drunken bee starting from a dot in space whose flight path is a random walk in three dimensions. Now, the chance of the fly returning to its original point, its point of origin, is only about 34%. This idea that random walks behave differently depending on where they take place is central to the work of both Hillel Furstenberg and Grigory Margulis. One abstract space in which they investigated the behavior of random walks is Lie groups. Now, a Lie group is a mathematical tool that's used to analyze objects whose symmetries can be understood in terms of smooth motions. Furstenberg and Margulis both made important discoveries about the behavior of random walks on Lie groups. Their approach, however, was groundbreaking. Rather than simply looking at the behavior of random walks, they went in the other direction, showing how the behavior of the random walks revealed deep properties about the structures of the groups. Hillel Furstenberg was born in Germany in 1935. His family fled the Nazis when he was a boy and they settled in New York. Age 30, he moved to the Hebrew University of Jerusalem where he has been ever since. Furstenberg helped turn the Hebrew University into a world center for mathematics, in particular in ergodic theory, a type of probability theory that looks at the measurable aspects of dynamical systems like clouds of gas. In 1977, Furstenberg used a Godic theory to give a proof of a well-known theorem by Andre Semmeredi about arithmetical progressions. That is, a sequence of numbers that increases by a fixed amount each time, like 10, 12, 14, 16, etc., which increases by two. The surprising use of a probabilistic method to prove something in number theory, a completely different field, was spectacular. The insight was later used in the proof of a famous theorem by Terence Tau and Ben Green that the sequence of prime numbers contains arbitrarily large arithmetic progressions. Gregory Margulis, 10 years younger than Furstenberg, was born in Moscow. His early work on Lie groups won him the 1978 Fields Medal. At that time, Soviet academics were not allowed to leave the country and he was refused a visa to attend the Fields Medal. As a result of Soviet isolation, Margulis was largely cut off from the work going on in his area in the West. He first travelled abroad in 1979 and eventually emigrated to the US in 1991. Furstenberg and Margulis have never lived on the same continent at the same time and have never co-written a paper. They are awarded the Arbel Prize jointly, however, because of their innovative use of probability and ergodic theory, and also because of the way they have revealed surprising connections between different fields. Margulis, for example, used representation theory to prove a result in graph theory. 
Now, a graph can be thought of as a bunch of dots that are going to be joined by lines. The dots could say be computers and we need to link them together. One type of question asked by mathematicians is, what is the most efficient way to join the dots? Here is one way. Every dot joins with every other dot. It's not very efficient. Here is another way. Every dot joins with a single dot. Not very robust. And here's another way. Every dot joins just to its neighbours. Again, not very efficient since it takes many steps to go from one corner to the other. In the 1970s, Gregory Margulis discovered the first family of expander graphs, which is a way of organising the network such that every dot links to every other dot in a small number of steps, yet the total number of links is relatively small. His discovery has had important applications in computer science in the construction of error correcting codes. To summarise, the work of Hillel Fustelberg and Gregory Margulis stands out not only because they introduced many influential ideas and proved long standing open questions, but also because they brought different mathematical fields together. Thanks to them, applied probabilistic methods like random walks are now ubiquitous in some of the purest, most abstract areas of research. I return to the image of the street lamp. The work of the 2020 Arbor Laureates illuminates brilliantly the surprising interconnectedness of several mathematical fields and as such is a beautiful demonstration of mathematics as a unified whole.